Church, are you ready for Kids Blast? Hi, welcome to week number five of Kids Blast. Five, 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 five. I am so glad you're here today. My name is Pastor Steve. Oh, hi, boys and girls, and I am so glad you're here today. I want to know who's out there, so the count of three, shout your name really, really loud. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, that was awesome. You did such a good job. But I didn't hear so many mommies and daddies that time. So just the mommies and daddies this time. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, I'm so glad mommies and daddies are watching as well with their kids. That's awesome. Let's do some shout outs this week. We have some new people that I know some of them have been watching since week one, but I've never said their names, at least I don't think I did. And I got some new ones I found out about this week. We have Kanan in uh, Kalamazoo, Michigan, Quentin down in Indiana, Zeke down in Georgia, Zachary from Maryland, Margo and Kelvin and Gloria from Michigan, and then Adeline and Brinley and Rylan and Myra, hopefully I pronounced all your names right, and they live in Iowa. I'm so glad you're watching. We also had a lot of birthdays this week. I love birthdays, cake, ice cream, presents, it's awesome. So we're gonna give you a birthday shout out. My first birthday shout out is in Lake City, Florida. His name is Caleb. He turned seven this week. Happy birthday, Caleb. And then Amelia, or we call her Mia, she turned seven. She lives in Kalamazoo, Michigan. And then little Adam Rayburn, he turned 22 this week. He's getting so big, he's wearing big boy pants and everything. And then Abby, who also lives in Iowa, she had her 12th birthday this week. So happy birthday, Abby. Now, if you have a birthday, send it in. we would love to give you a birthday shout out as well. Last week, I gave you a Kids Blast challenge to draw on a piece of paper something that you were afraid of. And then on that piece of paper, write the words, God is bigger, and then the picture. And a lot of you sent some great pictures in, so let's take a look. <laughs> so awesome. Now what I want you to do is hang those around your house somewhere. Hang them on your refrigerator, in your room, in your bathroom mirror. Hang them somewhere just to be a reminder to you that God is bigger than your fears. Let's have a word of prayer and then we'll start our new Kids Blast service. Let's pray. Dear God, I thank you for everyone who's watching today and I ask that you let us have some fun today. Let us smile and let us laugh. But most of all, God, we want to hear from you today. We want to get closer to you. So we Open our hearts, open our ears, open our souls, so we can hear what you have to say to us. We love you so much. In your name we pray, everyone said, amen. Good job. Well, today at Kids Blast, we're gonna talk about a really, really, really big word. And that word is omniscient. O-M-N-I-S-C-I-E-N-T. Omniscient. That's a big word, and it's getting bigger, and it's getting bigger, and it's getting really too big. It's too big, I think it's too big for us. Let's make it simple. Because what it means is God knows everything. God knows what's going on in your life. God knows what's going on in my life. Nothing surprises God and that's what we're gonna talk about today. How about this? Instead of that big word, let's do a smaller word. Knows, K-N-O-W-S, knows. Because God does know everything. Let's go do an object lesson to find out what that means for you and for me. Have you ever seen one of these before? where you have to guess the number of jelly beans in a jar. Hmm, how many think are in there? Well, there's definitely more than 10, 50, 100, 500, a million jelly beans? Well, there's a lot, I know that. But you know the weird thing about that? Is that God knows everything. God knows how many jelly beans are in this jar. Because God knows everything. Hebrews chapter four talks about there's no creature hidden from God's sight. God knows everything. John chapter 10, it talks about how God knows our names. And Luke talks about how God knows the number of hairs on our head. I don't even know the number of hairs on my head. And God knows that stuff. And he knows how many jelly beans are in this jar. You know how many jelly beans are in that jar? I counted them. There's 1,050. 1,049. How about let's go do a science experiment and find out more about how God knows us. 48. Oh, hi. Uh, I didn't know you were here. Uh, 
1005 jelly beans. We're gonna do an experiment. Now, anytime scientists do an experiment, they always wanna answer a question. And our question today is, will these different substances dissolve in water? Dissolve means it becomes part of the water and you don't see it anymore. What do we have? We have sugar, baby powder, salt, and we have flour, like you bake bread with. And our question is, will these dissolve in water? But the point is, we have to guess, because we, when we guess, when scientists guess, it's called a hypothesis. So I think this will happen when I pour this in the water and stir it up. Okay, that's a hypothesis. The awesome thing about God is, God knows it already. You know, that's our word for the day, it's knows. He doesn't have to guess. He knows everything, because he's the awesome, mighty God. He's the smartest being ever. So you and I have to make a guess, our hypothesis. So we're gonna start with the sugar. Will sugar dissolve in water? Who says yes? Who says no? Let's find out. I'm gonna pour it in. Give it a stir. Now it took a while, but pretty much the sugar dissolved in the water. Okay, let's try the baby powder. Will baby powder dissolve in water? What do you think, yes or no? Let's find out. Put it in there. It didn't go in very good. I can stir that all day long and I don't think it's gonna get any clearer. Yeah, baby powder does not dissolve in water. So you compare how sugar did, baby powder didn't. Let's try salt. Will salt dissolve in water? Okay, look at that. Looks like the salt will dissolve in the water. Now it's a little cloudy, but that should eventually clear up, okay? But it does dissolve. You don't see any salt crystals in there. So we got dissolve, not dissolve, dissolve. Okay, let's try the flour. Will flour dissolve in water? I don't think flour dissolves in water very well. And if you even look at the top of it, there's big clumps on it too, just like the baby powder. There's clumps of the baby powder on top. So we got sugar dissolved, baby powder didn't dissolve, salt dissolved, and flour did not dissolve. Was your hypothesis right? Mine was, uh, maybe yours was. But the awesome thing about God is once again, God knows everything. God knew that before we even tried. Because God created everything. God knows how things work together. He knows everything about you. He knows everything about me. That's how awesome God is. Let's go do a Bible story and find out how Jesus knew something about somebody who he's never met before. It's time for our Bible story, but where's our special storyteller? Where's Pastor Janet? We better get her here. So count of three, can you shout Pastor Janet? Ready? One, two, three. Pastor Janet! I was here. Did you see her anywhere? What? She's behind me? Really? Anyway, she's not there. You guys are teasing me again. I don't. What? She's still there? Over here? Where? Oh! Oh goodness! It's Pastor Jana. <laughs> Hi, Pastor Jana. Hi, Pastor Steve. Would you like to tell our Bible story? Yes, I would. All right, let's do this. Our Bible story today comes from the book of John, John chapter four, and in the book of John, Jesus and his disciples take a trip and they take a long trip, and they walk, 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 and, well, you get the idea. They walked for a very long time, and they got hungry, and they got tired. Have you ever been hungry and tired at the same time? It's not good. And Jesus got really tired, and so he had to sit down for a little while, and the disciples went on, and they tried to find some food for everybody. And while Jesus was sitting down by the well, there was a woman who came along, and she came to get some water. Someday my friends will come. Someday I don't know the words oh, that I have. We're done. done with this singing, Pastor Steve. Thank you. So the woman came to the well to get her water for that day. She couldn't go to the sink and just turn on the tap or the faucet and have water. They didn't have that. They had to come to a well. And so she came to get some water. And Jesus struck up a conversation with her and said, Hey, can I have a drink of water, please? 
And the lady was kind of shocked, like, whoa, this guy's talking to me? Because strangers didn't talk to one another then. Why are you talking to me? And he goes, oh, if you knew the gift that God has for you and who I am, you'd be asking me and I could give you living water. And she was like, whoa, living water, what's that? Jesus explained that living water can bubble up inside of you and give you eternal life. He was talking about himself. And she says, oh, I know that we're waiting for a Messiah to come, a Messiah who can explain everything to us. And Jesus, I think he got this little mischievous grin on his face and he kind of leans down in and he says, I am the Messiah. What? Whoa, the Messiah, the Messiah is here? She got all excited and she runs into town and she starts telling everybody that she sees. The Messiah's here, the God who, the God who knows everything. He's here, he's here. And she runs back and they follow her. She's so excited and so passionate about this guy that they follow her back. And when they got there, Jesus was still there. And he stayed for two days to tell them all about God and himself and heaven. And after two days, they said, at first, we believe because she told us. Now we believe because we've heard him for ourselves. God knows everything. He knows everything, good or bad. He knows all about it and he loves you. Now let's go to Pastor Steve so we can do our final illusion. We do a brand new illusion for you today. And just to show you we're, we're gonna be fair, we're not gonna do any editing, okay? And what we have here, we have 10 envelopes. Take a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 envelopes. And in each envelope, uh, there's a card with a letter on it, okay? Now what we're gonna have is we're gonna have Pastor Janet flip a coin which has a heads and a tails. A heads, it means switch, we switch cards. And if it's tails, it means we don't switch. So this, just do it for a second. So say the first one comes up heads, so we switch. So we put the nine first and then the 10. Instead of 10, nine, it's nine, 10. Okay, just so you know. Switch, we put the lower number and then we put the higher number for the next card and then that. And then it comes up tails, so then we don't switch. Okay, and then it comes up switch again. So we put the, the four and then the, the five and then it says don't switch so we put up the three then it comes up tails one more time which is no it's heads which is switch so we put the one and then the two okay so let me go ahead and pick up these cards and pastor janet whenever you're ready you can flip the first card and is it switch or don't switch heads that means switch so we put that in. okay tails Ooh, so we don't switch so we just put it down switch okay tails again so we don't switch heads we switch heads so we switch oh we only got one left so it doesn't matter so we put that one back down okay so as you can see we have a pretty mixed up number that isn't even close to being 1 through 10, is it? That's just a weird number. Okay. Now, it sort of reminds me of life now. You know, our life is pretty messed up. We're not going to school anymore. We're, we're not going to church anymore, as in church at the building. We are not can't go to the store. We can't go to restaurants so much. Life is pretty messed up right now. But the one thing you gotta remember is what? God knows. Let's see what the spells out. Four, G, O, D, ooh, that spells God. Okay, and just to go to show you, there are no other cards in it. There's just one card. And, O, W, spelling it out, what does it spell? S, M, E. It says, God knows me. Isn't that cool? God knows me and God knows you. You say it with me, ready? God knows me. 
God knows you. He knows what you're going through. He knows if you're scared. He knows if you're happy. He knows if you're worried. He knows all those things because God knows everything. Psalm 139 talks about how he searches us and know, knows me. Like he, he looks at our whole life and he knows me. First Samuel 16, it says, God doesn't look at you like people look at you and see the outward appearance. God looks at our hearts. See, God knows everything about us. So we can go to God and say, God, I'm mad, I'm angry, I'm scared. I'm frustrated. God, I've sinned. Please forgive me. We can go to all that stuff and God knows. Nothing surprises God. Isn't that cool? That nothing that's going to happen today or tomorrow, it's not going to surprise God. God knows everything in the past, the present, and the future. That's how much God loves us. That's how awesome God is. He knows everything about us. So we can put our faith and trust in him and we don't need to worry about it. Let's have a word of prayer. Father God, I'm so glad you're a God who knows us and you're a God who, who loves us. And God, I'm glad you're a God that doesn't su be surprised by anything. You're just an awesome God. And God, I ask that you just give us the faith and the will to trust in you all the time. That we can realize that no matter what's happening, you know about it and you're gonna help us get through it. Doesn't mean you're gonna take it away, the situation is gonna go away, but it means you're gonna help us and give us the strength and, and the courage to push on. So God, help each of us, how no matter how we are, old we are, put our faith and trust in you. We love you, Jesus. In your name we pray, amen. Thanks for watching this week. I hope you had a great time at Kids Blast. We have a new Kids Blast challenge for you. What I want you to do is take a piece of paper, write God knows, and then draw a picture of yourself. This is mine. Do you think it looks like me? I do. So remember this week, wash your hands, Remember that God knows what's going on in your life and we can put our faith and trust in Him. Love your neighbor, love your family, love God. Pastor Steve, out.